The creation and production of children's toys is a multi-billion dollar industry, so it's not surprising that a lot of people try to get in on it. With the massive saturation that's in this market, there have been some toys that have been the exact opposite to what you would think when you hear the words children's toys. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So here are the 5 most disturbing kids toys ever made. Number 1. Little Miss No Name Hasbro's is a multi-billion dollar toy and board game company that are responsible for some of the biggest names in that industry. They produce and own things such as My Little Pony, Twister, and Monopoly. However, since they were founded in the 1920s, Hasbro's have decided to occasionally experiment with the type of toys they produced. This led them to creating a bizarre toy known as Little Miss No Names in the 1960s, which was a homeless girl doll that wore rags and had a single tear on her face. Hasbro's definitely had good intentions when they created the doll, but unfortunately, its audience were mostly creeped out by how terrifying she looked. Even the box was quite intimidating, and her wide red eyes that had no life in them whatsoever definitely didn't help sales. Hasbro's released seven different variations of the doll, but eventually discontinued it. The doll became a novelty because of this, and doll collectors all over the world now pay hundreds of dollars for vintage versions of Little Miss No Name. Which means that adults are now the only demographic buying this doll, and Hasbro's original goal for the doll was unsuccessful. Number 2. Baby Secret Baby Secret was a baby doll released in the 60s by Mattel Toy Company that advertises itself as a toy that would tell you a secret if you pulled it. The toy's voice was surprisingly realistic, and the fact that it whispered everything it said made it very creepy. The secrets themselves were also quite strange, as the doll would say things like, Don't talk so loud, I like to whisper in the dark, and I like to sleep with you. The advertisement for the toy was also pretty nightmare-inducing. It featured the doll speaking to various different children and proved why it probably wouldn't sell that well today. This doll was reasonably popular, so it's creepy to imagine that it said these things to young kids on a consistent basis. It was discontinued soon after its release, but didn't increase much in value. If you wanted this doll now for some reason, you could buy it on eBay for around $60. Mattel's new baby secret. She whispers just to you. Her lips really move. I want to tell you something. It's almost unbelievable. Get Mattel's new baby secret so you can have fun keeping secrets together. I know a secret to you. That is. And she talks when you pull the string. She says several different phrases. How it's gonna. It's random. What did it say there? Hold me close and whisper. Oh. Number three, mini guillotines. During the French Revolution in the late 1700s, guillotining politicians became a very common occurrence in the country. The guillotine became a symbol of the revolution and was seen as a just punishment for the politicians the public despise so much. Guillotining became so popular that a toy was made out of them known as the mini guillotine. Surprisingly, it was actually quite effective, as it stood around two foot tall, which meant that the kids who played with it could use it to kill mice, birds, and various other small animals. This would give them a basic idea of violence and would also make them familiar with the tool that was used so much in the country. After the revolution ended, guillotining was still a common occurrence, so the toy stayed in circulation, but eventually it was deemed to be an unfit toy for children. American stores actually tried to reintroduce this toy in the 1970s, but for obvious reasons, this was unsuccessful. This is a guillotine mousetrap, and I built this off of real examples of antique mousetraps, so this design's been used for hundreds of years. I'll put a link in the description below so you can learn more about the originals. But the design is actually pretty simple. It consists of a wooden base with stair steps here, two vertical posts with slots in it that fit the metal blade, and a cross piece. Now the cross piece has a hole in it with a string going down to the blade. Now the blade I built out of a piece of metal with a single bevel edge that's almost two and a half pounds. And it slides up and down on those grooves. You can see the little blade there. Now that comes slamming down. 
Number 4. The Evil Stick The Evil Stick was a toy that was sold at a dollar store in Ohio that stated on the packaging that it was a simple wand that could create music. It had a princess on the front and flower petals on the top, but obviously, with a name like Evil Stick, it's not surprising that there was more than meets the eye with this toy. In November of 2014, a customer known as Nicole Allen bought the toy for her two-year-old daughter. At first, she thought that the toy was completely normal, but when she went home, she pressed the button that was supposed to play the music and a creepy laugh came out. It also revealed a piece of foil that could be pulled back to reveal a creepy image, a terrifying looking woman who was cutting herself. This made national news because of the creepy and irresponsible way the toy was packaged. The store owner stated that he had purchased a wand in bulk but didn't remember who he got it from. This story has been questioned numerous times and people have tried and failed to track down where this toy comes from. All that is known is that the manufacturer is in China. Another interesting fact about the evil stick is that there are multiple pictures and you could get a myriad of different images depending on what toy you got. Most of these pictures are quite mundane and aren't that disturbing but this one is the exception which leads people to believe that it was either an accident by the manufacturer or it was done deliberately to gain publicity. No definite answers have been given as of yet, and it still remains a mystery. A disturbing image hidden inside a toy purchased at a local dollar store. News Center 7's Lauren Clark with why a Kettering mother wants it off the shelves. A mother bought her toddler this princess wand at the dollar store behind me. Imagine her surprise when the curious little girl peeled back the foil to find this image of a girl cutting herself inside. The packaging promises fairies and quote wonderful music, but I doubt many people would call this music. <laughs> It's difficult to see the image clearly in the dark, but if you pull back the foil, there's no mistaking it. If you look close enough, it's not a drawing. It's an actual picture of the girl slitting her wrist. I'm outraged over it. I want to know how, how they think that that is suitable for a child. Nicole Allen said she found the wand for her two-year-old daughter in the toy section of the $1 store on Linden Avenue last weekend. There was Barbie dolls on one side and baby dolls on the other side and these were right in the middle of where they were at. The owner of the store told me parents need to pay more attention to what they're buying for their children. The name on it, it says Evil Stick. So from the name, I would, ha if I'm buying it for my kid, and I have a lot of kids, and I have young ones, I would inspect it before I even give it to them. He also said that while he would not buy the toy for a toddler, he thinks it's okay for older kids. For a five, six, seven, ten years old, I mean, they see that on TV every day. But Nicole and other shoppers at the store disagree. You don't want to think about little girls picking that up and thinking this is normal, you know, or funny or interesting or any of those things. The owner of the store tells me he will not be taking the item off of his shelf unless he receives a complaint directly from a customer. In Dayton, Lauren Clark, New Center 7. Number 5. French Mechanical Swimming Dolls. In 1878, Ellie Martin created the first mechanical swimming doll. It was a small waterproof figure that could move if you inserted a key and it was able to float. While the technology was definitely impressive for the time, this doll today looks absolutely terrifying. The rigged way in which it moves is creepy to say the least and the general design of the doll hasn't aged very well. The rags that it often wears, as well as its feet and arms, make it even more scary. Some form of this doll was produced until the early 1900s, which means that it was in circulation for over 20 years before production was stopped, which is impressive and attests to how good the original was. Eventually, more developed toys started to be created and this doll became redundant. But 100 years later, certain mechanical swimming dolls have become very valuable, with some of them going for over $2,500 online. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. I try and make a creepy list-based video like this every week, so if you want to subscribe for that, you can. 
I'll also leave my Instagram and Twitter down below if you want to follow me over there. But like I said, that's all for now. As always, until next time.